In this tutorial, I'll show you how to visualize and navigate through 2D and 3D images using the GoFigure software. Here, I already have an image open of the zebrafish ear, but to open a file of your own, you can go up here to the File menu and select Open Single File, or alternatively, just click on this button right here. Once you have your image open, you're immediately brought to the quad view, which shows you the XY plane, the ZX plane, the YZ plane, and the 3D view at the lower right. You can use the sliders at the right of each of these views to navigate through any one of the dimensions in your image. So this slider to the right of the XY view will move you through the Z dimension. And you can see that reflected in this XY view, but also you can see that change occurring when this blue line moves in the YZ view or the ZX view. And you can also see the cross-section shifting in the 3D view. So I'll show that one more time, moving things in the ZX view. If you want more precise control over exactly which slice you're looking at, it's useful to open this navigation menu using this navigation button here. It brings up this menu on the left, which still has sliders similar to the ones I've already showed you how to use, but it also allows you to directly enter in a number for the slice you wish to look at. So for instance, if I already know that there's some feature I'm interested in at x slice 240, I can type that in here, and you can see that reflected in the views on the right. This particular image is just a single time point, but if there were multiple time points in a 4D image, you could also navigate through the t-slices using this slider here. This navigation menu also gives you the option to look at just one channel in this multi-channel fluorescence image at a time. So, for instance, if I want to focus on just the nuclei in this image, which are shown in red, I can click on the one channel radio button, and since channel zero shows the nuclei, um, I can focus on them in this grayscale image. And you can do the same thing for the other channels as well. While I often find it useful to navigate through my images in this quad view, depending on what feature you might want to focus on, it's sometimes useful to look at just one of these views at a time. And that's what these buttons up here are for. So to make just the XY plane the full screen, you can click on this button, and you can do the same thing for each of the other views, or the 3D view. You can always reorient your view in the 3D image by clicking and dragging to a new location, but sometimes it's useful to jump to a particular view that you already know you'd like to be looking at. And that's what can be done with these P, D, and L buttons up here. The P button uh, stands for posterior, which allows you to jump to a posterior view of your organism. D will jump to a dorsal view and L will jump to a view from the left. Now, of course, these, this naming is based on the assumption that you've imaged your organism from a dorsal view, but regardless of what, from what view you've imaged your organism, it's still uh, often useful to use these buttons. You can use these three toggle buttons up here to change what information is being displayed on your screen at any given time. This first toggle button will add or remove the white text from each of the views. The second toggle button will add or remove this red, green, and blue highlighting for each of the axes in the images. And this third button will add and remove this 3D cube that is useful for orienting you in the 3D view. To focus on a particular feature of the image that you might be interested in, it's useful to use these two buttons here. The first one, the zoom button, allows you to zoom in on any one uh, view of the image. So by single clicking and holding, and then moving the mouse up or down, it allows you to zoom in or out, respectively. 
this pan feature is used in a similar way. You click and hold and then can pan to any view of the image you like. After you've done this, uh, you might find it useful to return to the original view you had of your image, and you can do this by pressing O on your keyboard, which will jump back to the original orientation. To change the relative sizing of these four views in the quad view, you can use the horizontal and vertical splitters here, and by dragging them left or right, you can change the relative sizing of these images to whatever your preference is. In this particular example, we are using an LSM file acquired on a Zeiss microscope, but GoFigure can also handle other file types like MHA or PNG or mega capture file format, which is a format we use in this lab and which you'll find particularly useful to use the other features of GoFigure, which we'll talk about in the next tutorials. Um, the next tutorials will guide you through segmenting your images and using the database. Thanks and enjoy using GoFigure.